The Freeform Gradient Logo. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Will Patterson and welcome back to a new logo design tutorial. Today, we're actually doing a Freeform Gradient Logo design and I'm gonna show you how to do it really easily. For those of you that don't know what the Freeform Gradient is, it's a new feature that's been around just probably for about a year inside of Adobe Illustrator, which allows us to have greater control over our gradients, but it also gives us the opportunity to create weird gradients. So gradients that look cool, but you kind of don't know where they start and stop and it just gives you so much more levels of detail. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create your own freeform gradient logo or a logo with the freeform gradient in it and make it professional looking, change the colors and basically show you some hacks that will save you time on your work. This video is brought to you by logodesign.net. So first of all, I've got a couple of examples on my Illustrator window here and these examples are very generic. I've just chosen some like logos that I like to work on uh, as part of my daily practice. You can actually see how generic it is by just the word logo type in Montserrat. You can see the color in there. We've got a cool gradiented logo in there. Now, if I go ahead and just ungroup all of my work here and I click on this and I press G, you start to see that I've probably got a gradiented logo in on my fill. And you can see these little dots. These dots actually signify where colors are. So if I move this around I can change this to a different color if I wanted to let's choose a dark red um, and let's maybe choose like an, an, an orange as well this is gonna look really crazy so we've got all these points and you can add them by just clicking in and moving them around which gives you a really nice controlled way of entering into a gradiented logo I've got another option over here which shows you a very very abstract logo icon up here I was literally just playing around with it uh, but as you can see, it works well in what it does. It's an icon that fits on top of a logo type and the interest of this logo is technically in the gradient, which is a freeform gradient. So let me explain a little bit first about the freeform gradient so you can have a bit of a practice and then I'll show you how to incorporate it into a design that you've made. So I'm gonna open up a little circle here in my illustrator window and I'm gonna change it to a black fill like so. Now the freeform gradient is in the exact gradient panel just highlight this and press G and when you press G you get this sort of gradient type up here the first one is a linear gradient then you've got a radial gradient and then you've got this new option called the freeform gradient now when you choose anything like a radial one you'll get this sort of like cool line that pops up that shows you what you can do with the gradient you know you can mess around with it but it is very old school. That is the old way of creating a gradient. Now, when I click on the freeform gradient, you'll notice that it'll come up with two points straight away. And that is to show you what you can do. Now, this gives you the most control as you could ever imagine because you can just move the gradient around and then you've even got this here to show you how far the gradient spill is and you can control even that to the minutest point. So what we could do here is keep adding different colors. I'm gonna choose like a black, not a brown. We've got that there, let's choose like a, like a pink and it'll sort of gradient it all the way around. We can create another stop here for a red and then you've got the gradient for the yellow there. Create another point, we can go for an even thicker yellow right here. We can make that even bigger or smaller. And if I wanted to, I could just go around here and keep changing these points to whatever I wanted them to be. Now it's really easy to create a freeform gradient, but it's not very easy to make it look good. So there's a website that I like to use called UI Gradients, and you can literally go through them and pick a really nice gradient color in here. When you find something that you like, like this one of Virgin America, you just click on the hex codes and it copies it to your clipboard and you can paste it in as your gradient. Now I've already got some colors down here in my swatches that I'm going to use. So I'm going to start to use these and I'm going to get rid of some of these points as well because we don't really need them. I just want two. You can go really, really detailed into this or really simple. So I'm going to choose my red and then we could have this as a sunset like a really cool like overlook or we could go ahead and make it kind of like this and that's basically the quick crash course in the freeform gradient logo now i would always suggest though when you're doing this to keep it very simple don't go overboard with it because you don't really need to have lots and lots of gradients going on for it to look effective it's more about the placement of the gradient itself and how much is showing and of course you could do this 
and take hours doing it, but I'm gonna show you a quick method, just like I did there, in making your logos look really nice. So I've got this random shape here in the middle, and this shape is a very abstract shape. I'm gonna go ahead and just basically reset the bounding box for a second. It looks like a foot. We could even make it into a shoe pattern like that if we wanted to. But this is supposed to be like a blob or something. Now this wouldn't work as a logo in a flat 2D color like this. I mean, it could do, it's very, very minimal, but what I want to do is create a bit more depth of it to see what we can do with it. So I'm gonna highlight this and again, press G and go to my freeform gradient logo. And it's gonna come up with some like sample colors here. It'll always give you like two spots to work with. If you don't like the spot that it's giving you, just select it and delete it and you can move these around. I'm gonna select this spot here and then choose a dark blue. And over here, I'm gonna choose a lighter blue. And in the middle, I'm gonna create another point for a darker blue as well, as well as a lighter blue. So we've got like a gradient color going on here. So you can see here, I've got the dark blue going to the light, going to the dark, going to the light. And I can move these to certain points as well to give the illusion of light. And it won't affect exactly everything there. It will actually give a really nice gradient across the whole thing. And I can increase the amount like so. So we can make it look really three dimensional like that. So now that we've got that, if you move it around and do whatever you want, you can do that now. It is just a gradiented logo and the freeform gradient makes it super easy instead of using meshes and things like that. So now that you've got these gradient points in there, you like where it is and you like the where the points are, it gives a cool effect, but you don't like the colors anymore or you want to sort of change the colors quickly. Well, this can be quite annoying because you don't want to be going through all the points and going back to your swatches panel. So what I'm going to do is change all the colors in here by just selecting with my selection tool. If we go up near where the gradient type is, we get this color wheel and it's called recolor artwork. We're going to click on that and it'll give us this dialog box over here to our right. This is where we can change all the colors in our selection very quickly and easily. So on here, go to edit. And when we're on edit, we get a color wheel with a load of other things. Just forget about everything on the right. Over here, we've got link harmonies. It's very important that you link it up. So you press link harmonies. When you do, you get a solid line going through those color balls there. Now when clicking link harmonies, it means that whenever you shift anything like the saturation or the hue, it sticks with it in the harmonized color patterns that you've already got. So if you like the way that your color is showing depth or your gradient is showing depth, you wanna keep that on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into my hue saturation slider and we can move this and as you can see, it's moving the colors and the harmony across with us as well. Now let's say I wanted this to be brighter and have more saturation, maybe even a completely different color. Some colors won't work as well as some others, like the blues work really well because of the way we've got it going. Let's say I like this color, but I wanna see what other options we could use for colors. So I'm going to just Alt, Shift, Click, which duplicates it across. We just repeat that process, link harmonies, and go find a different color. And now we've got the same gradient, different color. Very quick and easy way of changing it. Now to create an even cooler effect of this, here's a little freebie for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just alt drag this and we're gonna start manipulating and rotating it and have a bit of fun because this is not a real project. We can create some really cool different effects with the freeform gradient just by moving things around. And this has been done with like loads of different kinds of gradients. We can just warp it distort it, transform it, creating really nice looking overlapping work. Making sure that you can see those lines just from the natural gradients that you've created. So here's a more normal logo yet to have any colors. I'm gonna go press G and it's gonna add some gradient points when I go to the free foam gradient. And we're gonna start adding like a really nice sun-kissed logo here or color scheme going on. So instead of the blue, we're gonna add some reds because these sort of work well together. We can add more yellow up here if we like. As you can see, very quickly we created a gradient that we can easily edit and change. So we could take this color here and move it down a notch if we needed to, to create a brown side. Or if we wanted to in the gradient, we can click it and we can choose a whole new different color to come down. So when we've got this like really dark color, it will gradient off. And up here, we can increase that. So we've got like a less sharp gradient. So it goes from like dark to sort of mid red, 
all the way up to yellow. So there's so many different ways of creating gradient logos. I always say in a professional scheme to keep it simple, unless you your idea is to go complex within the gradient, sort of like, you know, more complex than what we created with the printer version over here. This video was brought to you by logodesign.net. I've teamed up with logodesign.net to bring you some tutorials on logo design. Logodesign.net is a website where you can get a lot of resources, tutorials, amazing blog posts about logo design. In fact, this video and every tutorial that I do with logodesign.net, it will have a blog post attached to it, which will be linked in the description below, giving you some more tips, um, free tips for you to do better in logo design. So if you would like to learn more about how to use a free form gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator for your logo designs, click that link down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, then please press that red subscribe button. It is completely free to press that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. So whenever I upload a new video, it is notified to your phone or to your email. It's a good way of getting content quicker. If you like the video, then please leave that like button and make sure to share share this with your friends. If you didn't like the video, press the dislike button twice and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.